Hello, hello friends. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, friends, some of my uh, viewers have asked this question that why lazy valuation is important in Spark. So I thought, you know, rather than taking a formal route of creating a PPT, I'll just uh, uh, make a very short video on this. So uh, before explaining that why lazy valuation is important, let us understand uh, uh, what is lazy evaluation. So in Spark, we load data and then we do some transformations on it and then we hit a action after applying some transformations on our initial RED. So when we hit a action, only after that action, uh, Spark starts to evaluate uh, the RDD makes a proper plan to execute uh, the task and uh, then it gives you the results so it doesn't start uh, processing data as soon as you give any transformation to spark so that's that's uh, what is called lazy evaluation so spark waits that until unless you need the data it's not going to start any operations on the data that you have loaded so until unless you need you tell that what result you want spark is not going to process uh, the initial data that it has loaded that's what it means from lazy evaluation now why do lazy evaluation uh, uh, why it is important in case of spark so lazy evaluation is very important uh, because uh, when uh, you hit a action spark has complete clarity that what are the transformations that you are trying to make on uh, on rdd so based on those transformations it can take more educated uh, decision that how it can optimize the overall process uh, which are the operations which are the transformations which can happen in parallel and for what transformations uh, it will need to create a dependency on a previous RDD. So it can make some optimized decisions and uh, uh, and it can give you results uh, far better, in a far better way. Suppose in action only, you only want only five rows, uh, top rows of uh, your RDD, then it doesn't need to process the whole data set. So all these kind of optimizations uh, Spark can do if it is doing lazy evaluation, if Spark tries to process the whole data as soon as it gets any command from you any transformation from you then these kind of optimizations will not be possible i hope this uh, answer is clear uh, if you have any question please post it in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer uh, uh, to this uh, uh, to your questions and uh, please also share questions that you are facing in your interviews so that we can share it with other uh, viewers on our channel thanks for watching my channel please subscribe to my channel and share uh, video with your friends also thank you